Welcome back. It's time for a rave review. Okay, up first, there's a new show on Apple TV Plus starring Jason Segal and Harrison Ford called Shrinking. Now, it centers around Jason Segal's character, who is a, a therapist, a psychiatrist, thus the name Shrinking, like you go see a shrink. Anyway, Jason Segal's character is a therapist along with Harrison Ford, but it's really tackling this therapist who needs a therapist because of all the personal drama and trauma he's experiencing in his life. And it's really smart, really funny, and I really like it so far. Take a look at the trailer. What's on your mind today? Like, I want to change, but I'm not particularly open to make those changes. I'm trying. Every time I get rid of one compulsion, another compulsion comes up. Are you yawning right now? Spoiler alert, I feel like I'm stuck. Right. How does that make you feel? He just kept on going on and on about how dumb I am. But he loves me. Your husband is emotionally abusive. He's not working on it. He doesn't intend to. Just leave him. OK. I think I can help people if I get my hands a little bit dirtier. Your mom wanted you to scatter her ashes, right? We know what they should do. Don't you ever want to just shake them? Well, we don't shake them. I take that back. Run, huh? Sounds so unethical. You're just going to burn down your career and take me with you. Coin flip? Get out of here. You're just going to leave your car here? I'm a white guy in Pasadena. The cops will probably just take it back to my house for me. Must be nice. It's really cute. So Jason Segal's character is going through a lot, and he decides as a therapist to use some unorthodox methods for his patients which may not be looked upon as ethical by the board of psychiatrists or psychiatric professionals because it's really extreme. But the thing is, you're finding about him, his family, what is going on in his personal life, and then how it affects his therapy and his patients. Very smart, very well written. A lot of uh, great cast members. Um, I really have enjoyed this show. It's just one of those, like, it's a show I, le I need to watch at night with dinner and a glass of wine because I, I feel fancy when I watch it because you know, maybe I need therapy. Maybe it's my therapy watching this show, but it's really good. Uh, you can catch new episodes Fridays on Apple TV+. Okay, now I wanna move on to a show that I only started watching yesterday because the social media buzz was everywhere. There's three episodes out. I mean, it just came out, but there's three episodes. Um, it's based on a video game called The Last of Us, and it's a zombie drama thriller I don't even know how to describe it because I'm not into zombie shows. So I'm looking at social media all day yesterday. People are talking about it, talking, talking. I'm like, well, maybe I should watch this. So full disclosure, I'm not going to show you the trailer for it. Um, it is graphic. Uh, you know, it's zombies, so you're going to have some gore. But here's what I love about it. I love the storytelling of the characters. Here's, there's a lot of flashbacks, not to give too much away, but it's actually based on science. The very first scene of the very first episode is talking about a fungus that you can get. And basically, that's the cause of people becoming zombies, if you will. But these are zombies unlike anybody I've seen before. They are fast moving. But there's another weird twist to them that I was like, whoa, didn't see that coming. Um, what I like about it is the storytelling aspect. Do I care about the zombies? Not really, because they're scary. And I don't like scary. But I binged three episodes. Two of the episodes yesterday I binged were like an hour and 15, hour and 20 each. So I was like, I was in it. I was committed. What I like is the flashback. So it starts in basically 2003 when the outbreak happens to current day 2023. Talking about like some kids who have never even actually seen a car because the whole country is run amok with vampires. I mean, not vampires, <laughs> zombies. Can't get it straight, Paula. Yes, yeah, with zombies. <laughs> But I like the flashbacks to see people's lives and how they ended up in 2023. I also like, without getting too political, it's a great social commentary on political systems and governments. And I was just like, it's weird how you can go from here to here. It's just, it's fascinating to me. And the writing is really good. Again, I'm not going to show you the trailer, but it's called The Last of Us. If you like those kinds of shows, you will like this. New episodes premiere Sundays on HBO, but I was surprised. I told producer Jake this morning, he's like, I can't believe I like a zombie show. And I was in it. I mean, three episodes yesterday, but I was like, it's for you guys. I did it for you, but I really enjoyed it. And I'm now I'm fascinated to see where it goes. And Paula, you like zombie shows, right? Okay, this is for you. Okay, now I want to move on to a show that, okay, guys, you know I love British humor. I love it, love it, love it. There's a new show on Netflix called Kunk on Earth with this beautiful lady. Her character is Philomena Kunk, and she is the most 
a crazy interviewer. She travels Europe interviewing historians and experts about the biggest questions in human history, uh, geography, people. She does it with a straight face. She never breaks character. And I don't know how people don't laugh every time she talks. I only have a 30 second, like 27 second look at it. But to me, I'm in love with her and the show. Take a look. Apparently, I've only been given half a minute to tell you about my venture up humanity. That's hardly long enough to explain the pyramids. It's obviously just big bricks in a triangle. I'll be asking questions. What was the Soviet onion? And go to every corner of a globe without corners. Do we know if China has a roof? So join me, Philomena Conk. This is Conk on Earth. OK, so just quickly, this is British humor, which I love. It's satire. It's not to, meant to be offensive. And she she almost speaks like I, it's like, like in that clip. She was telling me about the, the Soviet onion. She gets words wrong all the time, which makes me laugh so hard because I'm like, and she does it so seriously to these legit historian experts. Like, I don't know how they agreed to do the show because it is off the, it's off the rails. It is off the rails, hilarious. It's on Netflix. And again, do not take it seriously. It's satire. There might be some things that people might think are offensive in some way, but I, I can't explain it. Just know it's all taken in fun, okay? She's just doing it for fun. I love her. I can't remember her real name. Jake and I Googled it, but this woman is fantastic. Love her uh, comedy, and I've been watching her on TikTok, and it's just funny, especially if you like British humor. So check that out. Uh, that came out yesterday. And then finally, really quick, I may not even have time to show the trailer, which is fine. I do want to tell you about Hunters, the final season. It's only season two, but Hunters is back on Amazon Prime. Now, if you remember, Hunters, the first uh, season came out right before the pandemic, so it's been taking a long time. I didn't even know if they were going to make a season two, but season one left with a huge, huge, huge cliffhanger where it, it was giant, so I was hoping for a season two. Well, season two is back, all-star cast with Jennifer Jason Lee, who I absolutely love. And if you watch the first season, you're thinking, how can Al Pacino be in it? Tons of flashback. Al Pacino is still in it. It is very violent. It is very gory. But it is about uh, Nazi hunters in the 1970s, OK? Takes place in the 70s. The costumes, fantastic. The action sequences, fantastic. And you kind of don't even know who you're rooting for. You're rooting for the Nazi hunters, of course. But is everybody who they say they are? Who's, who's telling the truth, who's not? It's a really great show. Uh, again, sometimes I have to watch like this because I don't like the, the gory part. But you know, it is what it is. So I'm like, OK, but the story is great. Hunters season two is on Amazon Prime right now. Don't go anywhere. When we come back, we're running to Buffalo Run Casino and Resort.